I'll be next witness. Scotty Williams. Uh, all right. Here, please come forward. Is this him? Oh, please come forward to be sworn. So I swear I burn the testimony about to give you the truth, the whole truth, and the truth of God. See, your first and last name is spelled for the record, please. Scotty Williams, S C O T T I D W I L L I A. All right, thank you, main court. Thank you. Uh, may I call you Scotty? Yes. Is that the name you go by? Okay. Do you know somebody by the name of Isaiah Williams? Do you see Isaiah Williams in the courtroom? Can you point him out and describe something he's wearing? Uh, white shirt. Okay. Your Honor, let the record reflect he's identified the defendant. That objection record shall so reflect. How do you know Isaiah Williams? Uh, okay. Is your mom Elizabeth Reese? Yes. Formerly Elizabeth Williams, correct? Okay. Um, did you give a statement to the police, to the Ann Arbor police in, a, in about May of 2021? Does that sound about right? Uh, did the police come to you and talk to you be, about being an emergency contact for your father while he was living in Chicago? Uh, being on an emergency, being his emergency contact. Uh, I didn't know. Okay. Was emergency did you learn it from the police? Did that surprise you? Do you have any relationship with your father? Okay. Do you, at the time that you were interviewed by police, were you even in communication at that time with your father? Uh, I wasn't people's writing letters, but uh, okay. Um, you are how old today? Okay, would you would have been about five or six years old when Olisa Williams disappeared? Does that sound about right? Okay, do you have any memory of her at all? Just pictures, okay. Have you talked to your father back when you still spoke to him um, about? His his life in the 1980s and the 1990s is the earlier years when he was married before after he was married to your mom. Yes. Okay. Um, does he talk to you about the good times? Would he yeah. talk to you? Okay. Did he have a good memory of, of who you were? Yes. Did he seem to have a good memory of his his past? Yes. Was there ever a time that you would bring up, for instance, the abuse on your mom? Yes. How does he respond to that? Uh, he doesn't remember anything like that ever happened. It's all been told. Okay. So has he talked to you about his time being incarcerated in the 80s? Yes. Okay. Does he talk to you about his memory of that, him actually remembering that? Yeah. Okay. But when you bring up your mom, you said he says he has no memory of that. Is that correct? Correct. Does he tell you why he has no memory of that? Uh it's been a few different stories. One story is uh, when he was incarcerated, he was supposed to have something planted in his teeth. Uh, the other time is just like um, a brain trauma from life. Did he ever tell you he was in a car accident and had a closed head injury? He didn't tell me, but I've heard. But he never directly told you that. Okay. Did you ever ask your father about Olisa Williams and what happened to her? Uh, at one time, I did. Okay. At, at the past when you would actually speak to him, is that fair to say? Tell me about what he would tell you. Uh, blocked all memory. He didn't have anything to talk about. He said he had blocked all memory and he doesn't have anything to talk about? No, he didn't say that. Okay. But he just said he don't remember anything. Okay. Um. Does your would your father at the same period of time talk to you about you guys as children, kind of happy childhood memories? Okay. He was he talked about your siblings, your older siblings, correct? Yes. Okay. Because he was in their life more than he was in yours. Is that fair to say? Yes. Uh, but when you bring up Alyssa, he says he doesn't remember, correct? Was there a few years back where you were no, ill? No, he doesn't remember. I apologize. Was that no? He doesn't. Does he? When you ask him, he says no. He doesn't remember. Is that correct? He has no memory of her. No, he didn't say that. He what does he say? What he said at the time when I asked him was that he didn't uh, remember what had happened 
and he didn't want to talk about it. He didn't remember and he didn't want to talk about it. Okay. Some years back, was there a time when you were you were ill, you were suffering some health problems? I'll just say. Okay. Did your dad come and see you? Was this another time that you had you were prompted to ask about Olisa and what happened to Olisa? That was the time. Okay. Is this the time that he told you he didn't remember and not to ask? Did he get upset at you for asking about that that you remember? Uh, yes. Well, he was already upset because I'd asked him first off about my mom, what happened to my mom. And then that's what it led into me asking about what happened to my sister. So you asked him about, when you say you were asking him about your what happened with your mom, were you speaking specifically about the abuse? Yeah. And what was his response to that? Uh, and yeah, I don't remember anything. That's all they told to him what happened. So if I'm understanding that prompted you to then go on and ask about Elisa. And you said he was already upset. Did this make him more upset? Well, hold on. I just want to make sure I'm understanding your testimony because you said there was a conversation about your mom. And then I think you said your sister. Oh, Lisa, I was. I refer to her as my sister. Okay, that's what I want to make sure. Okay. Because and this all happened in the same event. These two, the conversation about your mom and the conversation about Elisa, it was all in the same sitting down, the same situation. Okay. I don't have any further questions. Thank you. All right. Any questions? Good afternoon. Um, you said that when he, you ask him about certain periods of time, he has memory loss, or he says he doesn't remember. Yeah. Okay, and that's when he becomes agitated and upset. Okay, and the follow-up questions about other events around the same time period that he says he lost his memory. Okay, so. He says he lost his memory from uh, one period of time to the next period of time. In other words, a certain span of a number of years, he has no recollection, correct? Or that's what he's told you over the years, correct? Ask about incidents during that period of time and he doesn't recall, he gets agitated, correct? Correct. Okay, no further questions. Can you read your I would ask you if you would ask your dad about M memories of specific period of times. Is it specific periods of times or specific memories in those periods of times? Does that make sense the way I asked it? Let me ask it this way. So you would ask about your mom, right? How he treated your mom during a specific period of time. Is that fair to say? Okay. And he would get agitated and upset about that, correct? Okay. Um, what if you asked your dad about a positive memory, not about the abuse of your mom, mom your mom, but positive memory about, for instance, your sister's childhood or something like that. Does he get agitated about that? No. Does he answer about what he remembers for that? Is that a yes? yes. I don't have any further questions. Thank you. Well, yeah, Nothing else? All right. You may step down. Thank you, sir. The people call Kimberly. She's coming. Ma'am, if you could please come forward to be sworn. So. Take your seat, raise your right hand. So you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the only thing that's about the truth, so you got Yes. Do I have a seat? Last name is spelled with the record. Kimberly Webb. K-I-M-B-E-R-O-Y-W-E-B-E. And you may inquire, counsel. Thank you, May I call you Kim or Kimberly? Uh, Kim. Kim's fine, okay. Um, do you know someone by the name of Isaiah Williams? Yes. Who is Isaiah Williams? Um, okay, do you see Mr. Williams in the courtroom? Yes. Can you point him out and describe something he's wearing? Uh, white shirt. Your Honor, let the record reflect Ms. Webb has identified the defendant. Record shall so reflect without objection. 
Let me ask this. Um, do you currently have a relationship with your father? Uh, no. Do you speak to him at all? Um, no. Okay. Um, you are how old now? Uh, 55. Okay. What's your date of birth, Kim? It's 11-21-1967. Did you ever witness any abuse on your mom at the hands of the defendant? Uh, yes. What did you witness? Um, I witnessed him um, uh, hitting, um, slapping her, um, knocking her down. Was that when your dad lived in the same home with you? Uh, yes. Okay. At some point, did your dad not live in the same home with you anymore? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, did something happen to you when you were maybe two and a half, three years old? Uh, yes. Do you have, let me ask that right away, do you have any memory of what happened? Um, no, just I, uh, the only memory I have is that, you know, uh, that something did happen. Okay. Did you ever see pictures of yourself uh, injured? Yes. What, what pictures did you see of yourself? Um, I saw a picture uh, with, um, I was a, just a, a child, young child with um, crutches and um, like a bandage on my arm. Do you have any any sort of uh, lingering medical issues now with your knees or your legs? Um, yeah, I have issues like when I uh, go to bend down, um, like my knees pop and stuff. Were you interviewed by the Ann Arbor Police Department back in 2014? Did you provide all the information that you knew of to the best of your memory back then? Yes. Okay. Uh, back in the summer of 1982, so July of 1982, um, was that the, if your birthday is November 21st, was that the summer before your 15th birthday? Is my math right on that? Um, 1982, okay. At that time, where were you living? Uh, I was living out in um, uh, Sumter Township. Of Who were you living with? Uh, my mom. Okay. Was your dad living there anymore at that time? No. Okay. At some point, did your dad come over with a baby? Yes. Okay. And was that baby Olissa Williams? Yes. All right. Had you had you seen Olissa before? Do you remember? Um, I think I had seen her maybe one time before that. Just so we're clear, in People's Exhibit 1, is this who we're talking about, the baby that your dad brought over? Yes. Okay. Who took this picture? Um, I did. You took this picture? Yes. Okay. What do you remember happening when your dad brought the baby over to your house? Um, yes, I remember him bringing the, the baby over, um, and um, I don't remember him, like, staying um, I remember him leaving at some point in time. Um, his old baby was there. And um, so the, she wasn't like, um, um, you know, for us to, you know, basically she looked like she needed to be like cleaned up and stuff. So we, um, you know, gave her, uh, cleaned her up um, and dressed her. We found some clothes and stuff um, for her. And um, so I put the clothes on her and stuff. And then I did her hair. Um, and um, after I did her hair, I was like, oh, she looks so pretty. And so then that's when I took the picture um, of her. At some point, did she leave with your dad? Uh, yes. Was it in the night or the early morning, if you remember? Um, yeah, I don't remember. Okay. When your dad left with Olisa, have you ever seen Olisa since? Um, we're talking 41 years. You've never seen her once in 41 years, correct? Okay. And who did she leave with when she left your house in Sumter Township? Uh, okay. When you did speak with your father, did you have any conversations with him about what happened to Olisa or where she was? Um, yeah, over the years, I would ask about, you know, what happened. And um, so originally, you would say, you know, that um, he said that, you know, someone had taken her um, and then later he would say he didn't remember. Let me ask you, let's let's back up a little bit. Um, do you recall a time when he was in Jackson prison and you took your daughter up to see him? Yes. Okay. Um, do you recall asking him about Olisa back then? Uh, yes. Do you remember what he told you back then when he was, was in Jackson prison? Um, at that time, he um, said he didn't remember. Do you remember what year that was? Um, let's see. 
it would have been um, a year, but my, my daughter at that time was about wasn't that old, she was maybe about two or three years old. Um, so she was born in um, 1980. So this would have been the 80s that he had told you he didn't remember. Correct? No, she was, no my daughter was born in 1990. So Got it. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> 1990. There, that, that, that helped me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And so was this before your dad was released from prison for, for the assault on your mom, if you know? Um, yes. Okay. Um, this the indication that someone had taken her, um, do you remember when he told you that? Um, that was like early on. Um, you know, he said he was um, in the park and um, fell asleep and woke up. You know, she wasn't there. Do you remember what park he told you that happened at? Um, I don't recall a member given like a specific location. Okay. Once your dad actually got out of prison in the 1990s, did you then again ask about Elisa and what happened to her? Um, yes, I. Uh, a lot of times when I see him, I'll ask him. So I did remember asking him again. And at that time, he said he um, didn't remember. And he said that um, he didn't remember. He said that the um, state had implanted a chip. Okay. And that's when he had gotten out of prison, correct? All right, let's, let's talk about that has your dad ever told you that he was in a car accident and that caused him to have lack of memory did your dad ever tell you he was poisoned and that caused a lack of memory uh no but your dad has told you that he has a lack of memory and doesn't doesn't remember what happened to olisa correct and please tell us again what was what was his reasoning to you as to why he can't remember where where Elisa is or what happened to her. Um, yeah, he said that um, I guess while he was in, in uh, prison, they planted a chip um, in his head and uh, erased his memory. And that would have been when he was incarcerated for the assault on your mom in 1984, correct? Okay. Let's talk about, aside from asking your dad about memories about Elisa, um, have you ever asked your dad about specifically about memories of, of him assaulting your mom? Um, yes. Does he talk about remembering that? Uh, yeah, he um, always says he doesn't remember that. Will you, when you did speak with your dad, so specifically, let's talk about when he got out of prison in the 90s. Did you talk to him about the good times, your childhood? Um, yes. Now, does he talk to you about that? Does he exhibit having memory as to that? Um, yes, he will remember uh, a lot of um, is he able to, when he talked to you back in the day, uh, talk to you about his own childhood and his past? Um, yes, I don't think he really talked a lot about his own past, you know, during that time. Okay. But he is able to talk about your past, your past with maybe you and Verna, your childhood. Right. He exhibits a memory as to that. Right. Okay. Uh, Kimberly, do you know of any close family relatives in Alabama close to your dad um, that lived in Alabama in 1982. No. Do you know of any close relatives even there now in Alabama? Um, I've got a cousin that lives there. Okay. But that wasn't in 1982, correct? Mm -hmm. Tell me about how your dad, his demeanor, how he acts when you confront him with either memories of your mom or memories of where is Olisa? How does he act towards you? You've already told us he says he doesn't remember, but how does he act? What's his demeanor? Um, yeah, a lot of times he just tries to, um, you know, um, talk about something else or um, get off the subject. Have you ever confronted him before about his ability to recall certain things, um, but not remember, not recall about Elisa. Have you ever actually confronted him on that? Um, yes, we've talked about that. Tell me what you said and what was his response. Um, yes, I've told him that a lot of times, um, you know, he seems to remember some things, like, you know, he remembers things about, like, the law. He remembers, um, you know, things about, um, you know, uh, our childhood. But then, you know, so it's kind of a selective 
you know, when he chooses to remember. One moment, Your Honor. Um, you mentioned that you haven't spoken to your dad in, in quite some time. How long has it been since you've spoken to your dad? Um, and probably at like, I think the last time I, I'm thinking it's been probably a family funeral. I'm trying to remember who passed away, but it's it's been two years. What decade would that have been in? At least, at least maybe seven, eight years ago. Okay. And why don't you have any contact with him? Um, you know, because I, I told him, you know, I told him he, you know, uh, lets us know kind of what happened. And then he remembers the hurtful things that he's done to my mom um, that I didn't want to have a relationship. Thank you. I have no further questions. Cross examination. No questions, Your Honor. No question. All right. Ma'am, you may step down. Thank you.